I want to taste something very strong, Betty. I want to hear what we are stirring the world. Listen to this. I, I told you a lot of times. I don't know if I told you. Maybe not. After, do you know there were a lot of rabbis? Again, you know, as much as the brothers said, we were not notified. But I want you to know, you know, notifying the deacon is not that it will happen. Notifying the deacon is like they're still thinking of it in heaven. But after it's declared that's what it is, then this is what it is. The question is, when was this decreed in heaven? Now again, such mysteries, what do we know? But this is the stories I know. I know only about two tzaddikim, because the truth is, do you know the first world war began on Tisha B'Av? Do you know the Inquisition was declared on Tisha B'Av, the day of the destruction of the temple? All the great things in Jewish history began on Tisha B'Av. Anyway, the first world war began on Tisha B'Av, and, and the second world war was just like, you know, like, like an extension of the first world war. But anyway, I want you to know something very strong. Remember, I always tell you about Rab Arlaroth. His Rebbe was Rab Tzvi Elimelech from Dinev. Yeah. No, no, from Bluzhe, I'm sorry. The Heilige Bluzhe. Who was a great grandson of Rab Tzvi Elimelech from, De- from Dinev. Okay, so this, after the First World War, he was always talking, he says, Oi, the darkness is descending upon the world, and it was terrible. And there were nights when he'd walk around, he would have a wagon, he would go around Budapest, and walk around at night, and just, oh, 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 would walk around the street, he says, ha, 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 oh, 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 you know, like this one, like he saw things, just, oh, oh, all night long. So one day, a Yidale came to him, not a Yidale, a delegation of seven Chassidim came to him and they said, in the little town they killed seven Jews and what they should do. So he says to me, favor, close the door, close the door. And the Holy Blue was always smoking a pipe, very strong, smoking out the world. He took out the pipe when he was puffing, the whole room was filled with smoke. And then he says, friends, you are talking to me about seven Jews? He says, I'm concerned with millions. He says, because I see a darkness coming upon the world that will kill millions of us. But only thing I can tell you is, he says, it's too late. It's declared already. I'm only asking heaven, I don't want to be there. And two days later he took off. Two days later he passed away. Now listen to this. Do you know what the craziest thing in the world was? That those seven people who were in the room walked out and they completely forgot what he said to them. Imagine. Because if they would have remembered the rabbis' means would be killed, tell everybody else and move out. They forgot completely. They were in concentration camp and they forgot. The craziest thing is that Three out of the seven were saved and they arrived in Yerushalayim and the first time they stood for the holy wall and were thinking back about their lives. Suddenly they remembered, isn't this crazy? The Heavenly Gabriel told us, 1918, he told us that millions will be killed. Why didn't we go away? Because it was decreed. That's all there is to it.